I guess I'll keep this. I'm not happy about it, but... Well, that's embarrassing. Nope, nope, no longer embarrassing. Opponent's going to lose the game. <laughs> well, if this is what the GP's like... Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice deck. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why you don't play that deck. You have to play against cards like this. How do you ever beat this card? It better have exactly the Maka. Cool. Two for one. People, come on. What do you think you are doing? Like, of all people, I should know you can't do that. Like, I tried that at the Pro Tour. This this doesn't work out. I had Mogi's Marauders. That card is unbeatable for that. Like, this deck cannot beat two Mogi's Marauders. Not enough. Eh, eh. Don't care. I'll block. Get there eventually, buddy. Or immediately. <laughs> Have you considered conceding yet? People just want to give me free money. Uh, it's like that and that I didn't like. I actually like Thassa. There we go. We figured it out last round. Yeah. This is why... It took so long the first time around for people to come to this point of red aggression. It wasn't even until like two weeks after GP Cincinnati compared to when the format started. Because this deck, this one right here, if you played a basic mountain against it, it sent you home. Uh... Yeah, I guess we're on the draw. We have a one drop. If we didn't have the one drop, this would be a snap ship. But I guess that's fine. I can trade off some mutavolts for some nonsense. Good luck. Have fun. This is not <laughs> like. <laughs> uh, this is not. You're remotely close to good. Nope, oh, that's not a madcap skills. Oh. Thank you for coming. Probably just block there. Get Titan Strength. 
which is a thing that happens. Played the other Frostburn Weird. Our opponent is still very far behind. That's fine. I guess it's possible I just... Yeah, I think I had to block that turn. Block the Seder this time. It's fine. The reason for blocking the Seder this time is that I get to uh, Architect and effectively... That's fine. Uptick. Uh, this Judge's Familiar probably should have been getting in from an earlier turn. Probably could have attacked last turn for a damage. So I missed one damage because of that. Whatever. I've been in worse spots. Man. This card's good against him, too. I'll take four. Oh, he didn't do it. So he is loyalist, so I can't do that. So I plus and then tide binder. That's fine. Dead to a strike here, but that's acceptable. I bind the loyalist, I think. So it makes all of my other blocks good. No attacks. And then next turn I make a thousand dudes. Good old Cumberstone. Is that the card? Thunderstaff, Cumberstone. Those are the two cards. There's the one from Conflux and there's the one from Darksteel. Mutavolt is a creature. Do your thing. Cute. Shucks. You got me. Nope. And if he draws another loyalist, I can. St oh, nope, 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 no. It was close. It was real close to doing it. Yeah, he cannot attack here. To be fair, I can't actually play a spell here, so. So, if I animate Mutavolt,
Animate Mute of Alt. Shove with the squad. Leave back those two. I think that's fine. Yeah, because he has to make multiple additional blocks to live here. Especially if he wants to live at a life troll where he can actually cast a spell. It's actually possible I should have attacked with the master too. Yeah, I should have just shoved with this. Yeah. What was I thinking? Should have just squatted him. I gave him a draw step. If I lose, I deserve it. Fortunately, I think it's pretty hard for me to lose from here. I guess, nope, Blinding Flare doesn't do it. Stomp doesn't do it. That gives him one more turn. Or one more shot. Well. Hope that was fun. I can respect that. Man, he just didn't opt to kill himself and die the honorable way with Seder. I guess this is like acceptable because it's technically right, but yeah, nice matchup.